So here's a face shield brim. We're going to remove this from the printer by removing the build plate first. Take the four binder clips off of the build plate and put them to the side. Now we take the build plate itself off. And we'll move it over to the table here. And now we need our paint scraper. We'll be getting underneath the ends of this print, just prying ever so gently. And then just run the scraper underneath to separate the print from the print bed like so, and then this little clip is going to need to come off of here as well. That comes off easily as well. Now we take the print bed back, put it back over here on the printer, and then reattach it with the binder clips. Just one roughly in each corner. Up over here, the cables are coming into the bed heater, so we'll move over a little bit to the side of that. Just try and get it as close to lined up with the edges of the plate underneath it, the heated build plate bit as you can. And generally, I like to put the clips on the outside edges, front and back. All right, uh, there's a little bit of plastic material left on build plate, that's perfectly fine. Now what we do is we're going to set up for the next run. And to do that, we'll need to enter some information in over here. We're just going to press the button on the scroll wheel here. And then go down to print from TF, TransFlash, which is another name for an SD card in this case. And then go down to CE3Budman.gcode. And that's it. The entire thing will now be heating up, and soon it will be printing. I'd recommend staying until the printer actually gets rolling, which should be just a couple of minutes. We're already at um, well, we're already starting to heat the extruder, and that's coming up above room temperature, as is the build plate. And the only other thing to check is whether or not you have filament on the filament spool, which is up over here. We've got plenty on this one. Uh, if there is a very small amount left, if you can see the core of the spool on the inside, then let somebody who's running the printer know. Finally, once you're done with your print, you're going to take these from over here, take this along with, and you're going to put them into the finished prints bin up over here. And this just goes back with the tools. That's it.